Hello, this is Scott at Mechsoft. In this video, we will cover the basics for doing three-axis drilling found in Visual Mill for SolidWorks. This drilling demonstration part contains an array of holes of two different diameters, 6mm and 12mm, which are alternately distributed across the face of the part. I will center drill and drill these holes and use some options to improve the efficiency of the toolpath output. To get started, I'll bring in the Visual Mill Machining Operations browser. Before creating any machining operations, I want to establish a good programming environment by defining three key things. The stock, the program zero, and the tools that I'll be using in the operations. To define the stock, the system scans the part geometry and creates a minimum box. I will accept that. Next, I'll define the program zero or work zero by referencing the stock material that I just defined and set it at the highest point or the top on the back left corner or northwest corner as you see on the screen and save that. And finally, I've defined three cutters to be used in the operations a center drill and two regular drills. In each of these I've defined the tool number, the tool length compensation adjust register, the coolant type and the tool material type and the feeds and speeds with each tool. Now I'm ready to create the operations. I'll create the center drilling operation by making sure I'm on the program tab, select the holes, pull down and select drill. In this particular part, the fastest way to select all the holes that will be center drilled is to use the second option, selecting all holes in a face or flat area. I will select the top face, the system will scan that face and collect all the circular edges, since this is a solid part, and make an entry in the feature selected list up on the left. Next I'll select the center drill, check the feeds and speeds and load those from the tool. Under the clearance plane, since there are no obstructions between the holes, I'm going to skim the part between holes at about 3 millimeters. Cut parameters, I want a full depth of 10 millimeters, do not add the tool tip, and an approach distance of 3 millimeters and we will generate the path. Let's improve that path by checking with the sorting and here I'm going to set a directional sort to be zigzag and will generate the path a second time. Much better. For clarity, I'll change the operation's name to center drill. To create the drilling operation for the 6 millimeter drill, I'm going to copy and paste the center drill operation. So I'll highlight it, do control C for copy and then control V for paste and then I'm going to rename this new operation and now I'll edit the parameters. With this copied operation the selection of all the holes is retained. To get the 6 millimeter holes only I'm going to impose a diameter filter of 6 millimeters max and min and you will see that only the 6 millimeter holes are retained. For the tool, I will set this to the 6 millimeter drill. Feeds and speeds, I'll load them from the tool. Clearance plane should remain the same. Cut parameters, I will set the depth to what is needed and add the tool tip. And for sorting, I'll do the directional sort again, being zigzag, and generate the path. To create the 12 millimeter drilling operation, I'm going to again copy the center drilling operation then drag that operation to the third position and rename it. Then edit the parameters as I did before. Here I'll set the maximum diameter to 12 and the minimum to 12 to retain only the 12 millimeter holes. For the tool, I'll select the 12 millimeter tool, check the feeds and speeds and load them from the tool. The clearance plane will remain the same. The cut parameters, I'd like the depth to be 22 millimeter with no added tool tip and the sorting, leave that at zigzag and generate the path. Now that the operations are complete, I'll simulate all the tool paths. Now 
Notice that I can rotate the view during simulation. Now let's say that sometime later an engineering change comes through that dictates that the 6 mm hole be deeper. You can expand that operation, go directly to the parameters, set that depth to what is required, and because of the ratio of the depth to the diameter of the tool, I'm going to change the drilling type to deep drilling or peck drilling and regenerate the path. Well, there you have the basics for creating three-axis drilling operations. Finally, let's post-process these operations for a Haas machine with metric output. I'll select the machining job at the top of the tree so that all operations are post-processed, select right mouse button, and then post all. This dialog allows me to verify or change the name then of the posted output file. I'll accept that and here is the listing of the post-process tool paths. There you have it. That concludes the demonstration on three-axis drilling. Thank you.